Assalamualaikum warahmatullah, dear student. This is Muhammad Kamal Hussain, content creator, Triangular Kamal Academy. Here we are going to find the solution of first week math assignment for the students of Standard Seven, and this is assignment for the academic year 2022. So let's see the first question here. This is the questions from chapter one. Actually, question related with the rational and irrational number. First, this term given here. Amina Begum, high school teachers arranged daily assembly. 1,080 students and saw that they could not be arranged in squares. That means the number of students cannot be arranged in this square form. So this system is given here. So according to the system, there are total three questions. First question, identify the rational and irrational numbers root over 24, root over 7, 0, 5, and root over 25 divided by 16, and write down the reasons. So this is the first question, is mark is 3. Second question here, at least how many students is to be added to arrange them in the square form? That means in Amina Begovisco, there are 1,080 students. So this number is not in the square form. That means the number is not perfect square. So the question requirement is at least how many students is to be added to arrange them in the square form. And the second question here, question number C, the next question, what is the least number? The word is least. Which is, to, which is to be divided by the number of the students so that the quotient will be the perfect square. So there are two keyword, list and divided. And the next question is, find the square root of the number of students up to two decimal places. So now we can write here assignment title, the concept of rational and irrational numbers and square roots of the different numbers. So this is the assignment title according to the assignment. So here, uh, if we write the first information, uh, identified rational and irrational numbers of root over 24, root over 7, 0, 5, and root over 25 by 16, and write down the reasons. So first question answer, here we can write, Rational numbers, the numbers which can be written as the fractional form. Fractional form means P by Q form. Of two natural numbers, P and Q must be natural numbers. It may be or may be integer, no problem. So here, 0, 5, root of 25 divided by 16 can be written as 0 by 1. So like 0 by 1 means 0. And one by five, five, sorry, five by one is equals to five. That means the number zero, five, root over 25 by 16. Root over 25 means if we do the square root of 25, you will get here five multiply five and 16 means four multiply four. So if we do the square root, so here we will get here from the first pair, the five and second pair is four. So we can convert this number in the fraction form. That's why 0, 5, and square root of 25 by 16 can be written as fractional form. So these three numbers are rational numbers. Now, this concept is, I hope this is very clear to you all. Now, the second, irrational numbers. Irrational numbers, which cannot be which cannot be written as the fractional form of two natural numbers are called irrational numbers. So here, root over 24, root over 24, root over seven cannot be written as the fractions of two natural numbers. We can write here because 24 and seven are not perfect square number. So root of 24, root of 7 are irrational numbers. Let me clear this one point. In the square root of perfect square number like 4 or square root of 16, square root of 25, square root of 1, these numbers are called rational numbers. 
because here 1, 25, 4, 16 are perfect square number. But here 24, 7 are not the perfect square number. That's why there is square root always irrational numbers like root over 3, root over 17, root over 19, root over 13, all are irrational numbers, except the numbers which is perfect square inside the roots. So I think number one answer is very clear to you all. Now question number B, at least how many students to be added? So first of all, you have to know what is the formula of finding square root when the information is given, add it to arrange them in the square form. First step, we have to, in times of addition and subtractions, we have to find the square root in the division method. The given number is 1080. First step, make them pair from right to left. This is the first pair and this is the second pair. So we have to start the calculation from the top left pair. That means 10. 10 is not the perfect square number. Here nearest perfect square number is 9. So its square root will be 3 multiplied 3. So its square root will be 3. That means 3 times 3 is 9 to the subtraction 1. Here 2 times of 3 is 6. So now if we place here the 6, there will be 62. Now take the 62 2 times, there will be 124. So here remainder is 56. In times of subtractions, we do subtract 56. But in times of addition, we have to write one statement, which is like this. There is remainder 56 indicate us the given number is not the perfect square. So the least number of the students is to be added to arrange them in a square form is. First of all, here you have to identify the result. The result is 32. Here result is 32. That means, that means the first step identify the next number. So 32 plus one, that means 33 is the next number and make it square then minus given number. So 33 square means 33 multiplied 33, which is 1089 minus the given number. And after doing the subtraction, we will get a nine, which is our answer. So this nine answer indicate us, if we add nine students with 1,000, 1,800, then there will be 1,000, 1,089, which is the perfect square. Then each row and each column, there will be total 33 students. And the teachers can arrange them in the square form if we add the extra nine student with 1080. That means nine is answer. So now the next questions, question number C, what is the list number which is to be divided by the given number of students so that the quotient will be perfect square? So we all know in times of divide and multiplications, we have to find the prime factors of the given number in factorization methods. In division and multiplication, same method. So the least prime number is two. First step, we have to try to divide the given number by two. If two is not possible, we have to try with the three. And after in the same way, we have to do calculation. So here 1080, if we convert them into express the number with the multiplication of prime numbers. Here 1080 will be two multiplied two. So first two same number, we can make them in a pair. So, but we see here two and two, one pair, three and three, another pair. This is a pairless number. This is pairless number. This is pairless number. So three, two, three, five are pairless factor. So, the least number which is to be divided by the number of the students so that the quotient would be perfect square is there are total three numbers. That's how we have to find their multiplication. So two multiply three multiply five is 30, which is our answer. Uh, let me review this answer. If we divide 1080 by 30, we will get here 36, which is also six square. That means we can arrange the number in the square form, if we divide the given number with the 30, 
Then the question is 36, which is the perfect square number? So answer is 30. So now most important question and also uh, related with exercise 1.2. Find the square root of the number of the students up to two decimal place. In times of two decimal place means after decimal, you have to find at least three pair. When the requirement is two decimal place, when the requirement is three decimal place, then we have to write at least four pair. So just one pair is greater than requirement. So now here the number given here, 1080, but requirement is two decimal place. That's so we have to give here three pair of zero. And the, the decimal started, the pair counting started from decimal. That's why this is rightward after decimal. And this is the leftward from decimal. So now first step here, the left pair is 10. Now, which is not the perfect square is nearest perfect square number is nine. That's why whose square root is three. So three, three times is nine, do the subtraction. Two times of three here is six, then uh, six. So here carry another pair. Now it's 180. So if we use here the two, uh, both divisor and the quotient. So here will be 62. Now 62 multiply with the two. Uh, here we will get 124. In the same way, now find that the double uh, two times of 32 is 64. Then take here eight times and here eight. So 684 is this. After doing the second step, we have to carry here the one pair from decimal after decimal there, so we have to use here decimal. So now total in the same way, our requirement is up to two decimal place. So now here third decimal place number is greater, is smaller than five. We don't need to add here any number. So now two decimal place square is 32.86 and which is our answer 32.86. So dear students, uh, just now you can take this screenshot this is the full question at a time, so you can see here. Answer is 32.86. So dear student, this is all about your assignment. The total marks is question number A, marks is three. Question number B, mark is three. Question number C, marks is also three. But the question number D had total four marks. So they are three, nine, nine plus four, 13 marks. So hope to see you all in the next assignment and wish you all the best. If, if you like my content, please subscribe my channels. Wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum.